The competitor too is the brand's highest spec 27.5 plus hardtail with an SLX slash XD drivetrain, 120mm rock shocks Reba fork, boost hub spacing and dropper post, while still hitting a relatively low price point. The alloy frame is heavily hydrofirmed with hardly a round tube in sight. It's clear these shapes are more than just for show and the competitor 2 Plus walks the line of being unwavering when the power is down on the pedals, but doesn't leave your body feeling like you've been run down by a car at the end of your ride. However, the massive 2.8 in rubber does play a role in absorbing some trail chatter. The bike rolls on 2.8 and WTB Rangers and mounted on Weinman XA40 whose internal width of 32mm pairs nicely with the bulbous rubber. With plus size tires getting the air pressure right is paramount, and for this particular setup and a rider weighing 155 pounds, 70 kilograms. The mid-teens seem to be the sweet spot when run tubeless, a bit more with tubes, to prevent pinch flats. It's clear Avanti was deliberate in the way it designed this bike to be a home mechanic's dream. The cables are fully externally routed, bar the last portion of the dropper. And, even that's a straight shot up the back of the seat tube into the bottom of the X-Fusion Hilo meaning there is no need to fuss with removing the cranks or bottom bracket. Speaking of the bottom bracket, Avanti has spec the competitor 2 plus with a standard threaded BSA bottom bracket, something we are extremely happy to see given the headaches that can arise from press fit affairs. On the trail the competitor 2 plus is a ball of fun. Overall the geometry is middle of the road when it comes to a trail bike, nothing too extreme but it works. With a 69-degree head angle combined with a stumpy 100mm head tube and 51.1-degree offset fork, the bike feels slacker than it actually is. This combined with short 50mm stem and 738mm wide bar allows for plenty of leverage on the ups and downs, and the 440mm chainstays make it planted unpredictable through corners especially in combination with the big grey tires. The bike really doesn't want to break traction for the show-stopping roosty drifts around corners, but when the tire does break loose, as with many plus bikes it's hard to bring it back.